Hengist is a brand new British Railways Standard Class 6 locomotive. As they were designed for use in Scotland, they were known as the Clan Class. This one is being built at CTL Seal in Sheffield. All the time, new metalwork is appearing. This is basically the bogey that sits at the front of the locomotive. It's a four-wheel truck. It consists of three main parts. The central cast stretcher, which is sitting here, and these plate frames, which are bolted very firmly to the side using fitted bolts. They've got to be very tight fitted bolts on there. So once we've got these built up here, we can start to build up the other bit of the bogey frame, which are these stays here. Then we can turn the whole thing upside down and start fitting the, to the actual axle boxes itself. These are the bogey axle box liners. These will be clamped to the bogey axle box guides. They're partly sacrificial, but the important part is that surface is manganese steel. And what we need to do here is machine this down to the right thickness and then put in grooves as in the form of an X. And that will be, take grease from this grease lubrication hole through to the working surfaces where this rubs against the actual axle box itself. And nothing stands still in the world of steam technology as proven by the need for a new drag box. We had to build this one because we found out in the 19, late 1950s they came up with a new design. So we've had to replace our existing drag box with this improved design, which, will, which was needed because the drag boxes were getting uh, damaged in operation. Fortunately, we found out they'd come up with this new design in the 1950s. We found the drawings in the National Railroad Museum and they were able to do it. We've also done some non stress analysis on it made some minor modifications to make it a little bit stronger. We basically want to fit that centering pin onto the bottom of the drag box and that will be finished. Once that drag box has been replaced, we can then build up the other things that need to be done at the back end of the locomotive. And then the final job we're working on at the moment, this is one of these big drilling machines here, is that we are waiting to fit these brake hanger brackets and they've got to be drilled and uh, put in place again using fitted bolts, which are a very tight fit. Two things working on in parallel, bogey frames, but hopefully we're going to start to see a lot of things happening on the bogey fairly soon. Meanwhile, the work of building and sourcing all the individual pieces needed for the loco goes on. It's all important stuff. Basically, we've got all the brackets and AWS stuff and uh, there's some Timkin axle box covers down there. Uh, recently we had the, f the floor for the cab up here, but that's gone to be measured up and everything. So when a part's made, it lives on here until it's needed, basically. So as you can see, SL stands for Steam Loco. DE is a Derby drawing. And then the 19955 is the individual part number for that, uh, which is a bracket there for uh, a cylinder cock, which activating valve. So there's something like four and a half thousand parts, I think, eventually for the Loco. We've got somewhere around uh, in the high hundreds at the moment. So keeping stock of what they are and where they are is key, really. All the original plans were scrapped. The plan is to have the new one in steam by the end of the 2020s, depending on finance and manpower. We meet every Monday from half nine till three-ish. We need some, uh, some more volunteers. If anybody's out there and wants to come along and, and help, I am not an engineer, I'm an electrician by trade, but there's always lots and lots that you can do on the locomotive itself. Everybody gets on with everybody else. We're all old age pensioners, but don't let that stop you <laughs> from volunteering. But do come along at the open day and you'll get to talk to people and see what's going on for yourselves. The next open day at CTL Seal is in April 2024, and you'll be able to see how far this clan has come as well as progress on the B-17 Sandringham locomotive being built alongside.